Get ready for a cosmic event unlike anything humanity has ever witnessed. Betelgeuse, the red supergiant, is sending disturbing signals across the cosmos. Signals that have captured the full attention of astronomers. Thanks to the powerful gaze of the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers have uncovered compelling evidence that something extraordinary may be unfolding. Even renowned physicist Brian Cox has issued a serious warning. Could we be on the brink of witnessing a supernova explosion so massive it would forever alter the night sky? In the vast theater of the universe, stars are born, live out their lives, and ultimately die in spectacular fashion. But few have generated as much fascination and concern as Betelgeuse. Situated in the constellation Orion, this immense red supergiant has long intrigued both scientists and skywatchers alike. Its deep red hue and fluctuating brightness have inspired centuries of observation. But recent developments have intensified interest and raised alarm bells. Betelgeuse isn't just large, it's colossal. Nearly 900 times the diameter of our sun, it defies human comprehension. If it replaced our sun, its outer surface would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, and even Mars. This gargantuan scale not only reflects its immense mass but also reveals its advanced age. Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life cycle, a phase where stars expand, cool, and prepare for an explosive finale. Estimated to be between 8 and 8.5 million years old, Betelgeuse has spent much of its life undergoing dramatic transformations. Having exhausted the hydrogen in its core, it now fuses heavier elements, causing it to swell and cool into its current red supergiant state. Its reddish glow isn't just beautiful, it's telling. With a surface temperature around 3,500 Kelvin, much cooler than our sun's 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse radiates light at wavelengths that make it appear red to our eyes. Interestingly, ancient records from Roman, Chinese, and Arab astronomers indicate that Betelgeuse may not have always been red. It was once described as yellow, suggesting its color has shifted over time, a subtle sign of its long and evolving life. These historical clues, combined with modern instruments, paint a picture of a star undergoing remarkable change. Betelgeuse is also a variable star, meaning its brightness naturally waxes and wanes over time. It experiences two main cycles, one about 400 days, and a longer one lasting nearly five years. This variability has been documented since at least 1836 by astronomers such as Sir John Herschel. Yet even indigenous cultures, like those of the Australian aboriginals, may have recorded its unusual behavior far earlier. What makes Betelgeuse especially intriguing is its unpredictability. Unlike most variable stars that dim and brighten in regular patterns, Betelgeuse sometimes deviates sharply. These irregularities suggest complex internal processes, possibly tied to turbulent convection, massive stellar winds, or internal structural shifts. One such irregular event happened recently, and it shook the astronomical community. In late 2019, Betelgeuse underwent a sudden and dramatic dimming, now referred to as the Great Dimming. Typically one of the brightest stars in the night sky, it began to fade at an average rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day. By February 2020, it had become noticeably dimmer, even to the naked eye. For a star of such prominence, this sudden change was startling. Speculation erupted. Was this the prelude to a supernova? But studying a star 654 light years away is not as straightforward as it might seem. Because light takes time to travel, the Betelgeuse we observe today actually reflects the state it was in over six centuries ago. This time lag complicates real-time observation and adds a layer of mystery to its already puzzling behavior. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree and her team at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics embarked on a detailed three-year investigation of the phenomenon. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, they tracked Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere with ultraviolet light to detect changes invisible to optical telescopes. What they found was astonishing. Material from Betelgeuse's surface was being ejected into space at speeds of nearly 200,000 miles per hour. This massive outflow created a cloud of dust that temporarily obscured the star's light, explaining the dimming effect. 
The ejection seemed to come predominantly from the star's southern hemisphere and involved a far greater mass of material than expected. This sudden mass loss raised a critical question. Was this a prelude to Betelgeuse going supernova? A supernova is the cataclysmic end of a massive star's life, releasing a burst of energy so powerful it can outshine entire galaxies for days or even weeks. If Betelgeuse were to explode, it would be visible from Earth, even during daylight. Such an event would offer scientists an unprecedented opportunity to study a supernova up close, but it could also have unknown effects on our solar neighborhood. However, not all scientists agree that the Great Dimming is a harbinger of imminent doom. Some believe it may simply be a temporary episode in the life of a restless star. Supergiants are known for their instability, and such ejections, though rare in size, may still fall within the bounds of expected behavior. So, is this the beginning of a celestial end, or just a dramatic chapter in Betelgeuse's long story? One thing is certain, we are watching closely. Astronomers around the world continue to monitor the star, scanning for signals that could confirm or refute the supernova hypothesis. With the help of cutting-edge instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, we may soon learn whether Betelgeuse is truly on the verge of exploding, or simply flexing its stellar muscles in a display of cosmic drama.